Hi guys, welcome back to Machado. Tech PC's in the house on the new studio. You guys like it? I do. I worked my butt off on it and I did it for you guys. But today we are working on a customer's computer. He told me that it just does not start. You plug it in, everything's hooked up, you push the button, nothing. So we're gonna go through it today and see what's wrong with it and see if we can get this thing to turn on. Alright, so let's just see if it will boot normally. So I hope you guys like the studio. Um, I, I did this for you guys. I wanted to take the production quality and the level of my videos and put them here. Now, a lot of people say, you know, Don, it doesn't really make sense for you to do this because you don't have the numbers to show for the reason of the money that you're putting into it. You've spent thousands of dollars on cameras and equipment, studio, lighting, wood, electrical. I mean, just, I mean, I had to have an electrician come in and rerun some of the wires for me to give me extra plugs. So a lot has transpired and taken place for me to be here. And I'm hoping that when that happens, it will help increase my numbers. And eventually, this will all pay off at the end. I'm hoping. Alright, so back to the computer. So it looks like... Back to the computer. So it looks like it's trying to do an automatic repair again. Um, which, I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Because if I don't have a repair disc, then okay, now it's diagnosing the computer. Okay, so I think what happened is, is I think this thing um, had a brain fart. And yes, computers do do that. So let's see here. It has four one gig sticks of RAM. I'm not sure what the hard drive is. I know it's a Dell, so it's probably a Celeron in there. Okay, so. I'll be dang it took me right back to the same screen all right go to advance all right let's go into troubleshoot this time all right let's re let's try resetting it um, we're gonna try to keep my files first if that doesn't work then I have no choice but to nuke it and the owner is already given me permission to do that but um, I have not discussed that with him yet and if you want me to boot and nuke your your computer Then that means that I'm gonna have to put a fresh install of Windows Now I don't know if he's running Windows 10 or 7 or whatever So I would be upgrading him if I was which is that's all I'm good and fandy But you need to pay me for this. This is how I make my money, you know uh, this I'll only charge him maybe 10 bucks for the new license key okay which is what I'll need I already have a Windows 10 home master key and what that does is it's a USB stick slides right in the back of the machine and then what it does is it will prompt the boot from my master key and then it's going to ask me to put in a, uh, a Windows license key and then everything will be fine and dandy with it these errors and I try going into automatic repair like right now we're in automatic repair and I'm just I'm not getting anywhere with it I try so many different so many different ways of getting it done uh, I've tried resetting the PC that doesn't work I've tried doing a startup repair that doesn't work I've gone into the command prop and try to manually start it and that doesn't work my my only other option and even when I try to go back to a previous version it doesn't allow it um, so we're gonna try to see again what happens when I go into a previous version and it gets this it says we ran into a problem we won't be able to take you back to a previous version and then it just reverts me back to trying to repair the computer so it the system it's so the computer itself doesn't know what's wrong with it the computer itself doesn't know what's wrong with the system 
All right, we have a problem now. It says there was a problem resetting the PC. No changes were made. Okay, so it wasn't able to reset itself. It did successfully get through the setup. And then when it was actually initiated, it got about 50, I would say about 55% of the way through. And then it just crashed. Okay, so... See, so we did continue and exit into a Windows recovery environment. We tried that. Use another operating system. Let's go to advanced options this time. And no success. We can do system restore. We'll try this one. Okay. Next. We want this one. Next. Yep, that's where we want it. System restore cannot be undone and after this has been complete. System restore is being run in safe mode for the security, I'm sorry, for the system recovery option menu if it cannot be undone. All right, well, we have no choice because the computer will not turn on. So let's go ahead and try this. So now what we are trying to do is we're trying to re... We're trying to restore the system on the hard drive in. Usually it tries to restore it in your actual operating system, getting your files, whatever. Well, with this in, we are trying... Oh, shit. System restore did not complete successfully. Your computer systems and files settings were not changed. The system restore failed while scanning the file on the drive. The drive may be corrupt. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking that the drive might be corrupted then. Because the guy said that it was working fine. And he shut it off like normal. And then his wife came behind him about a day later. And the computer would not turn on. Now they didn't tell me that it was doing all of this. All they said was that it was not turning on. So that made me think, okay. So the power button is bad. Or the motherboard's bad. Or the power supply is bad. Well, the actual power switch where it runs into the motherboard was loose, so I pushed it down and when I did that, it immediately came on. So now, I'm running into a software problem. Your PC ran into a problem, needs to restart. Well, we'll start for you, okay? So this works. Okay, it's at 1%. This could take a while. Sticking. Okay. Go to black. I just went and got some more foam, so we'll just set that down there. You know, let's pick them up like this. Remove some of these boxes. That one actually still has the CPU cooler in it. Okay, let's get us the next crate. slightly to make new room for the, the thickness of the foam so like that and you can just put that back on top so I was just kind of sitting there waiting for the computer to figure out what it was going to do and the idea kind of came to me to foam this up like that. I thought that would look cool. Adjust it. This should fit nicely in there. Okay, so 
The computer is still at 33%, which is going to take forever to do this. But while I was sitting there waiting for it, I got the great idea to do this. And I already think it looks great. Like, that looks awesome. I should have done that to begin with. Do you guys like that? Does that look better? Give me a like if you think this looks better. And then, of course, I did this right here to the back. Um, I really like that one. So, yeah. All right. Good deal. Just got to wait for this slow computer to wake up. It's only at 34% now. And I get a woohoo! Oh, yeah. 50%. We are halfway there. On with the hard drive. I have tried repairing it through the operating system. That has failed. I've tried doing it in safe mode. That has failed. I've tried diagnosing and defragging and trying to see if the hard drive itself is wrong. And in the middle of that, it fails. So either the operating system is corrupt, the hard drive is corrupt, or somewhere along the line, there's a short. All right, real quick, I wanna I wanna talk to you guys real fast before I get off. I, usually, I don't get a lot of comments back on the videos. Um, I know from a few people that that they watch my videos and that they've seen that the content is getting better and that. Um, I'm really trying to improve on what we're working with and you know I'm doing all of this and that just the quality has really improved but I had a person DeCessero I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name up but they left me a really nice comment and they left it on the video that I just uploaded last night and it's called the name of the video is the weather got bad and you guys yourself can go and look at this comment but they said hey I just wanted to say that I think you've grown a lot in the last few months my partner and I watch your videos often and together we definitely seen a change from you your quality has improved and we just really enjoy watching someone local to us please have a wonderful day and keep up the great work thank you so much for that comment that that right there makes it worth it all this makes it worth it because you gotta wonder you're like I only get like 30 40 50 views a video only I have less than 200 subscribers so I really can't expect too much I guess but I guess at the same time, all of this is a gamble. And at the same time, I just want to say thank you guys. I really appreciate y'all. This is the reason why I'm doing this is to try to educate people and show, you know, some of the things that I do. Um, people, you know, before I started the channel, people were always telling me like, Don, man, like you built some, you built some crazy things, dude. Like you made that. That's really cool. Like you should show someone that, you know, and that's what got me going into this channel. Because of all the DIY stuff that I do. You know, all the things that I'm capable of building. You know, not just your average person can do all of this by themselves. Single-handedly. No help whatsoever. So, I, I believe I've achieved a lot. And I thank you guys for being there with me every step. Thank you so much. You guys be cool. Peace.